A core concept of building complex 3D scenes is keeping your code organized, and 3JS groups help you do just that. A 3JS group is almost identical to the object 3D class. Its main purpose is to make working with a group of objects cleaner. Just think of it just as a way to easily organize code. Let's start with a simple example. Suppose you want to create a simple little solar system animation with the sun, earth, and moon. The first thing you can do is just download some assets from google.com and use a texture loader to load those textures into our project. Once we do that, we can add the sun and earth to our 3D scene. Here, what we're gonna do is create a sphere geometry for the sun and set the mesh standard material to be the sun texture. We can create the sun mesh and add that to the scene. We can create the earth geometry in a very similar manner except here what we're going to do is pass in the earth texture and we also want to set the earth a little bit away from the origin otherwise the earth will be inside of the sun let's see what we get so if we refresh our scene we get our simple little sun and earth scene in play now the next thing that we might want to do is to just rotate the earth around the sun because hey that's how the solar system works one simple thing might be to just rotate the entire scene so as you can see the earth is going to be rotating around the sun like this but then we notice a simple little problem the sun is rotating as well how can we prevent the sun from rotating and just rotate the earth well at this point we might consider adding some math into the mix because if we want to rotate the earth around the sun what we can do is change the position of the x and y coordinates of the earth mesh based on time so we can get the current elapsed time and just with some simple sine and cosine functions determine where the earth is supposed to be in the x and z coordinates and of course as you see here now the sun is not rotating because we're not rotating the whole scene we're just rotating the earth around the sun as you can imagine if we wanted to expand on this code and maybe add a moon and also add a day and night cycle for earth that the math is going to get pretty complicated so let's sort of refactor this code and use 3js groups to see how that's going to simplify the process for us First, let's create two separate groups, the solar system group and the earth orbit group. We're still gonna create the sun mesh, and instead of just adding the sun mesh to our test scene, what we're gonna do is add the sun mesh to our solar system group and add that solar system group to the test scene. Here, what we're gonna do is, instead of adding the earth mesh directly to the test scene, we're going to add it to the earth orbit and we're gonna add the Earth orbit to the test scene. When we refresh the page, everything looks the same. The next step is to get the Earth rotating around the sun. So we don't have to set the position of the Earth mesh. What we can do is just rotate the Earth orbit group because the Earth orbit group is based at the center of the entire scene. So it's at the center of the sun. The Earth mesh is 12 units away from the Earth orbit. So if we were to rotate the Earth orbit, then the Earth mesh should sort of start rotating around the sun. So as you can see, when I refresh the page, now we have the Earth sort of rotating around the sun as we expect. That was easy enough, but what if we want to add the moon? So in order to add the moon, we're going to create a new 3JS group called Moon Orbit. And here, we're going to create the moon geometry. We're going to add the moon mesh to the moon orbit and set the moon orbit position to 12. What that means is now the center of the moon orbit is exactly where the earth already exists. And then we're going to move the moon mesh four units to the right of that. So the moon mesh is gonna be 16 units from the center of the sun and four units from the center of the earth. And what we're gonna do is add the moon orbit to the earth orbit. So now you can see here that we've got a sun in the center the earth over here and we've got our moon all the way to the right of the earth now let's take a look at this animation function let's just start by animating the earth orbit and see what happens to the earth and the moon so when i refresh the page you're going to notice that the earth and the moon move together because the moon orbit which contains the moon mesh is inside of the earth orbit so now it should be very easy to rotate the moon around the earth as well all we have to do is add the moon orbit rotation and now you'll see that the moon is sort of rotating around the earth 
Now that you have an understanding of 3JS groups, you should be able to write complex scenes and transform them without using complicated math formulas. Just check out the scene graph tutorial on the main 3JS website for a tank example with multiple moving parts. If you made it this far, then I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.